The hypercar Caliburn from Hayfield is without any doubt the fastest car in the whole game. With over 1600 horsepower and weighing about the same in kilograms, it surely is a beast. So come with me and learn how you can grab one of those 100% free of charge. This car is not only the fastest one in the game, even beating the Arch motorcycle, but it's also very good looking. With all windows featuring the crystal dome tech, you'll barely hear anything from outside when driving in first person. And it's funny because as I was saying, it is a really loud motorcycle just rushed through my street. Either way, doing this is a shame because the engine sound is probably the most aggressive sound of the whole game and I truly love it. The car will go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just about 2.2 seconds, and it will cross the 1 fourth of a mile in 14. Those numbers are not only impressive, but the 0 to 60 time would put this ride in the second spot of the list of the fastest production cars by acceleration comparing with real life vehicles. It is just a few milliseconds behind the legendary Porsche 918 Spider. For the maximum speed, the highest I could get was about 211 miles per hour or almost 340 km per hour. As for the braking system, this car won't let you down, it will go from 200 miles per hour to a full stop in just about 90 meters. The handling is also superb. The car can do sharp turns very well, which is a basic necessity in Cyberpunk 2077, thanks to the really annoying GPS that won't zoom out based on your speed. Trust me, you will be doing this maneuver quite often. Alright, I guess I convinced you that you need this car by now, so how can you get it for free? Well, this car will unlock for you after completing the main mission named Ghost Town. I won't spoil anything here for you, but you can do this mission almost right after finishing the game first act. This mission will lead you to a cave in the Badlands to eliminate a pack of shivs. After completing this quest, you have to wait about 3 days or so and then come back to the same cave you fought them shivs. A blue container should have spawned there. Inside you will find the Rayfield Caliburn alongside some items and a shard. To claim the car, all you have to do is enter it. And about the shard, it contains a really fun easter egg. It tells a story about a man whose parents were murdered when he was a child. Then he decided to become a superhero by the name Berkman. Hmm, I wonder where they got this reference from. Now that I mentioned it, the Caliburn indeed looks a lot like a futuristic Batmobile. If you don't want to skip the time in game, don't worry. By following Pan Am's art mission, the game will naturally lead you back to this location, and the vehicle will be there waiting for you. After finishing the quest Queen of Highway, the GPS will very likely select that route back to Night City, whichever your next mission might be. It is really hard to miss it. If one of those is not enough for your need for speed, you can buy a second one in silver color for 157,000 eddies for a fixer in downtown. After reaching street cred level 40, I plan to make side by side comparisons between the cars in future videos, uh, like which bikes are the best and so, or how much better the Nomad variant is when compared to the stock versions. So to not miss that and much more Cyberpunk 2077 content, smash that subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching and I see you next time.